This is the story of a king who is known to be very rich, and even super rich, known as the seventh King Nizam. Wealth, throne and women are normal for a king. The king not only had many concubines, but also a lot of wealth. He is the king of the kingdom of Hyderabad in British India. What's the full story? Let's watch this video until it's finished. Before watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell button to get interesting stories from world famous figures. He was the seventh king of the Nizam, king of the kingdom of Hyderabad in British India. Some sources say that King Nizam VII of may have been a very wealthy but highly selective king. According to the story, he is described as a king who is very, very rich, but he is a very picky person. But what if the king is rich but very strict? He is very tight-fisted, so he is very frugal in everyday life. A wealthy man, he owned an abundance of jewelry, from emeralds to the legendary Jacobean diamonds. The seventh Nizam ascended the throne in 1911, known as Ali Khan, an eccentric among kings who lived in fear of revolution. His stingy nature actually grows from the fear that surrounds his life. In the palace where he lived, he prepared a canvas-covered truck, filled with gold and jewels that belonged to him. He plans to use the car filled with gold bars and diamonds to escape in the event of a revolution in India. But until the treasure rotted in the car, there was no sign of the revolution. In order to protect the king, 3,000 soldiers escorted him, and he also employed 38 people to clean the palace where he lived. Twenty-eight people specialized in drinking water and more people were employed just to grind walnuts, the king's favorite food. Before going super cheap, King Nizam was actually a very kind and generous king who approached him and accepted gold and silver coins. However, over time, he changed his views and became a frugal and extremely tight-fisted character. Desperate to use rags to store clothes for 40 years, King Nizam knitted his own socks and patched clothes and then wore them for months on end. The richest Indian king who was once very generous, and very miserly. He 
He also saves money on food by eating simple meals, smoking hand-rolled cigarettes, and sleeping with goats in his backyard. Then he once instructed his maid to buy new sheets, and received only 25 rupees for them, even though the original price was 35 rupees. Even though she is very frugal, she still has an extraordinary woman's life. During his life he had 46 harems, and 100 children. King Nizam Seven is always depicted busy with his lover every night. That was why he was called, the Prince of Exhaustion, because he had fun with, his concubine every night until he was exhausted. The king also once brought his 46 harem along with 300 of his entourage to England by private jet. King Nizam VII had many servants and concubines. While her eldest son was growing up, she was downtrodden when her son's eldest son, who was born to his four legal wives, owed millions of dollars. The two of them form an alliance to gain support from their father to become the next king. Under great pressure, he placed a million pounds in Westminster Bank, or NatWest as it is now known. He feared that if the British left India they would claim his fortune, but the money remained, and was the subject of litigation for decades. King Nizam is said to be very rich, so rich that he did not even realize that, the 58 billion rupees in the coffin were eaten by rats. As king, he greatly influenced India by building roads, railroads, universities and hospitals. The king's funeral was said to be the largest and grandest in India, but after his death his family was overthrown, and his estates plundered on a large scale. <laughs>